Brainstorming and sharing ideas is the funnest part of the creative process. We decided to skip the boring part of actually making stuff and just do the fun part. I'm your host, Tom Wilma. I'm Rachel Santos. I'm Johnny Santos. I'm Sean Francis. And I'm James River. And this is Creativity Wasted. Different areas of the world have different types of toilets. Like um, some of them are like fancy Japanese toilets and like bidets that are like better than American, like fancier. And some of them are a little more, you're just squatting in a pit or whatever. Yes, I've been um, to one of those. Yeah. And to, to, to me, both of those things scare me. <laughs> and it's okay. like, if I'm going to go where that's the only option, I want to learn how to do it first. I don't want to just show up somewhere and not know how to go. Sure. You want to be informed, an informed public uh, restroom user. That's fair. Um, so I think there should be a place in like big cities like Detroit might not be big enough or it could even be in like airports where it's got all the different types of toilets. There could be even like ones, uh, there's probably ones I haven't even heard of before, like um, South America, Africa, Asia, somewhere, different types of ways of Australia where it goes counterclockwise. The other way. They can make it go the other way. The days. Uh, yeah, because the, there's also, the, so there's the Japanese toilets. It's like a bidet and a toilet in the same one. But then there's like the French ones where the toilet is one device. And then mm. you've got to like walk over and like not plop shit chunks or whatever to, to the other thing. Wait, what? I don't know about this. The bidet is next to the toilet. Yeah. It's next to oh, the Oh, gotcha. Oh, that's right. So it would have all these different options. You can learn how to do the thing it could have a for each one there's like a a screen that says how to do it in like every different language mm -hmm. and it could also have like new inventions like mm -hmm. companies that have toilets that have new features that they want to mm -hmm. sell they could uh they could pay this place to show off their toilet to customers so that could be how this place makes money and then it could be like i'm from france i don't want to use the american toilet i want to use the bidet so i'm gonna walk i'm gonna go four blocks from where i'm at just so i can use my bidet so <laughs> maybe maybe it could be like oh you can try the bidet once or twice but then afterwards you've got to pay extra so maybe they have like a pay extra feature i, I don't know exactly how this is going to work it's got all these different types of toilets you can use. You can learn how to use it. You could even have like bathroom attendants in the real life. They don't really serve a purpose. Here, <laughs> they could serve a purpose. They're literally <laughs> guiding you through your journey. Guiding you Tom, through. Can I just say I love this idea? <laughs> but my counter pitch is it's a toilet museum exhibit and it's a touring exhibit that goes around to every big city like the human bodies or you know the the king tut exhibit and it just it, it you start off that way at least so that way you don't have to worry about opening a bunch of them at the same time but then you have just oh we're gonna go learn about all the different toilets and if people really like oh i'm gonna drive to chicago this weekend and check out the bidet experience <laughs> I, I I can just see the reviews being one star. What a shithole! <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of uh, punny uh, reviews and whatnot. But yeah, that's the thing, and the marketing of of the whole thing, and you, that's why it's a museum, and you can walk through it. They've got like the info the in, infographics and the the plaque cards and everything, and you have a like a tour guide explaining different aspects of it as you walk through and then I would want to actually yeah. try it though too. Oh sure, no. And then they have they do have functional ones that everyone can can use if they if they uh if they so desire. Some people maybe they're just uh interested in learning. Let's say you're squatting and your knee pops out knee joint pops out and you fall into the pit. 
Got a paramedic on the scene ready to go. Yep, people on the scene that got some new clothes for you with their logo mm-hmm. on it, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I broke my hip I, at, the, at the toilet <laughs> museum. Exactly. I'm about to do the I'm about to do a World War II challenge. Let's so blow up Japan, Germany, and Italy. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> no, no. Okay, so ignoring that aspect, but you get a little, you get a little passport. You can buy a passport, and they give you a stamp for each one that you try. So a that way, toilet stamp. That... Yeah, a little toilet stamp. It just, it just, just says passport. Passport. Right. right. Asport, it gives yeah. gives you like a rating on a scale of one to ten, and you have to like surpass it every time, or you get locked out of certain countries. <laughs> right. Is, is that part of the uh, U.S. citizens uh, exam? <laughs> yeah, this is how people get, uh, it, get green cards. They have to learn Brown how to cards. use an American toilet. Brown card. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to call both my parents right now and see if that was part of the test. <laughs> <laughs> so here's where the idea gets not controversial, but iffy. So let's say you want to try a toilet. And you don't have to go. So there's a couple things you could do here. You could serve food or laxatives that make the person have to go. So you could have uh, make money from serving food, mm-hmm. or you could have like some sort of. I've never gotten an enema, but like. You, you can just have the, the the guy from Hot Ones is there with wings and like his <laughs> spiciest sauces. No, no, no. Wait, it's wait, wait. Partner. This is where Sean's. This is where Sean's Chinese restaurant ah, right. uh, flourishes. <laughs> They're right next to each other. Right. Mm-hmm. We yeah, we could fold these ideas into each other. But so if you give an enema, normally they leave the tube in, right? So then the 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 stuff comes out of the tube. But what if you didn't leave the tube in and then instead you walked over to a toilet? That is not how enemas work. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. A tube goes up the ass, stuff goes in through the tube, stuff goes out through the tube, right? I don't think it goes out through the tube. It doesn't. No, no, you just squirt no, the thing. Yeah, in, it's in just... For an enema, it's just, it's just a simple, it's like a turkey baster, essentially. <laughs> so then you, you do have to walk to a toilet to, for it to come out. Very carefully. (laughs) Now, so only water goes in. (laughs) Now, depending on how authentic of the experience you want to test those different consistencies, you could have like a gravy filled one, like exactly like a turkey (laughs) paster, just to make it authentic. Oh my God. Again, well, they have a menu, so you can just choose. Okay, I want the mac, mac and cheese. Uh, yeah, or the corn special. I mean, people do like coffee animals. I was going to say coffee. Thing. Yeah. yeah. So, if you're going to squat at a, at a pit toilet or something, you have to know strategically if you've got blasting diarrhea, <laughs> is it, does it blast? Like, is it going to hit your shorts? Good like, questions. Um, <laughs> so I went be... to a nightclub in Portugal, okay, and there was oh. actually those like they are straight up holes in the floor because that was one of the stalls. And I went in there and I looked back at my friend who was there, and she was from France. She's like, no, no, no. She's like, just use the regular one. I'm like, I don't know what I would even do here. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See, yeah. that's another. That's another exhibit. Yeah, that's another. But- Option. Yeah, those are real things. They're, they're yeah. just puke holes. And you can pee in them if you're feeling bold. <laughs> <laughs> they're puke holes. The other, the other thought I had about uh, your idea, Tom, is like, so instead of a, you know, like a place you go or a touring thing, it is essentially like a bidet where you can order like a little kit and it sends it to your house and you figure out how to modify your existing toilet. I don't know if that would work for all of them, but that's... An, like uh, renting about. it, you mean? Like a Netflix for toilets? Yeah, yes, exactly. You send it back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Location yeah, when you're done has with been... It. Location's been a really confusing aspect of this whole thing, I think. Like, yeah, are we going yeah. somewhere? Are we staying home? We're doing enemies. Mm-hmm. So I feel like we need <laughs> right. to be prepared to stick around once that happens. 
Right, exactly. You do, I, I don't want to, like, uh, at, regardless of where this takes place, I don't want to have to do a lot of walking afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe the enema is a bad idea, because I, I think what you're hinting at is that there's not one... It's sort of an all-day aff- it's an all day affair kind of a thing. It's not a, like a one-and-done. That it's more a, so depends It's an all-day affair. Yeah. So you have to come prepared yeah. if you're going to test out the toilets. There's no like I said, or just be prepared to stay there for a while. Like be prepared for all the weird kink material that's going to start there. <sighs> right? Yeah, that's going to be sure. a fucking horror show once that gets <laughs> once that gets. That, that sounds like a terrible like date. You know, it's going to be just an incredible surplus of international uh, glory holes wherever all these toilets are found. Mommy, how did you and mom and daddy meet? Well. <laughs> Japan. Your, Let's just keep your it like father. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're dating somebody who's French and they want to use a bidet, it's not like the primary stop of the date. <laughs> right. Exactly. It's just part it of be you know everyday part of life. The night. Every bidet life. <sighs> um, I didn't give it a name. I was gonna call it toilet restaurant, but that's stupid. <laughs> uh, or reverse restaurant. Uh, exit restaurant. If it's the the touring museum uh, idea, ask what you could just call it. Porta potty. Yeah. Porta party. Assport. <laughs> yep. I feel yeah, like assport is actually it's probably honestly, it's it is yeah. perfect. <laughs> What a sophisticated and uh, any port mature in a conversation we've had tonight. <laughs> uh, any shows or anything you want to plug before we go? Yeah, come uh, check out uh, Mondays at the Comedy Project, Comedy Outlet Mondays, every Monday at 7 p.m. in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And uh, I also perform on the weekends there, so check out their weekend shows, Fridays and Saturdays, 8 and 10, for improv and sketch specifically. But... Monday, we got a little bit of everything. I'm at uh, Comedy at the Creek in Diamonddale, Michigan on September 23rd. Cool. We'll be Us there too. Now. Nice. You are? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This Friday, I'm going to be in Waterford at the Irish Tavern <sighs> with Micaholics. I'm doing Detroit to LA at Mark Ridley's on the 12th. I've got a sad clown comedy show on the 14th. So I'm doing Sean's show, Comedy Outlet Monday, on September 18th. Uh, I have a Twitch stream called Gamey McFitness that's unrelated to comedy. I build video game controllers into fitness machines. What? And then play games on them. I just finished the rowing machine one. <laughs> I'm going to try right after this. This has been a production of Planet Amp Podcast, powered by Pinecast.